Hello, today we are covering application problems for systems. So you guys will be able to set up and solve linear systems algebraically. Now I know that a lot of times when we see word problems, we get scared by them. Don't let them scare you. They're not actually that hard. We'll talk through what we need to solve for and how we are going to set them up. So our directions are use a system of equations to correctly solve the word problems. So the school that Steven goes to is selling tickets to a choral performance. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold three senior citizen tickets and one child ticket for $38. <clears throat> the school made $52 on the second day by selling three senior citizen tickets and two child tickets. What is the price of a senior citizen ticket? What is the price of a child ticket? So I'm going to define my variables. My variable S is going to stand for senior ticket, price or money, and child is going to stand, or C is gonna stand for child ticket price, okay? <clears throat> so the information that it gives us is we sold three senior and one child for $38. And we sold three senior and two child for $52. So we can set up two different equations. So we have 3s plus 1c equals 38. And 3s plus 2c equals 52. <clears throat> now you could use a guess and check method to solve this. You could figure out how much the senior ticket would cost and how much the child ticket would cost. Guess and check until you got to the right numbers. But it's easier to solve this system. So we set up our system based on the days, and now we can just go ahead and solve. So I'm gonna move this over. So, to solve, I can use substitution or elimination. I'm going to use elimination because it's easy enough to multiply this whole top equation by negative one. So that way, 3 and negative 3 are opposites. So negative 3s plus or minus 1, maybe we would do, minus 1c equals negative 38. And then we just bring the second equation over, 3s plus 2c equals 52. We cancel those out and solve for the price of a child ticket. So C equals 14. And that is the price of our children's ticket. Now it says what we're trying to find is price of the child ticket and price of the senior citizen ticket. So we need to plug that in, the answer for C, into one of our two original equations. It doesn't matter which. So I'm going to say 3s plus 1 times 14 is just 14. So I'm going to leave it. Let me make that look more like an s. Equals 38. And then I'm going to solve 4s. So S is going to equal $8. So senior tickets, senior citizen tickets cost $8, while children's tickets cost $14. All right, hopefully that one wasn't too bad. This next one, the sum of two numbers is 25. So a number X plus a number Y must equal 25, right? And the greater number is four times the number, the smaller number. 
So we'll label our variable x as being bigger or greater number and y as being smaller number. Okay? So we just need to write out the equation for this. So x, the greater number, is 4 times the smaller number. So x is bigger than y by 4 times. So now we can either choose to use substitution or elimination. I would suggest using substitution because we already have one equation solved for a variable. So we can just plug 4y into our top equation. Combine like terms and solve for y. So y will equal 5. And then, once we do that, we can plug our value for y in to either one of our two original equations and solve for x. So x will equal 20. And it says find the number, so we just did. The bigger number is 20. The smaller number is 5. Okay, and one more of this type. A math teacher ordered 10 boxes of dry erase markers and 5 boxes of glue sticks. The bill for the markers was $25 more than the bill for the glue sticks. And the two bills together were $95. So find the price. This is what we have to do. Find the price of one box of markers. So I'm going to label my x variable being markers bill. And my y variable is glue stick bill. So the bill for the markers was $25 more than the bill for the glue stick. So x was $25 more than the glue stick bill y. We also know the two bills x plus y had to equal $95. So from here, I would suggest doing substitution again. We have 25 plus y plus y equals 95. 25 plus 2y equals 95. Finish solving. So y must equal 35. Okay? We don't want to know how much they spent per, though. We need to find out how much the price of one box of markers is. So we still do need to solve for how much a box of markers costs. I'm going to plug y in up here. So x is equal to 25 plus 35. Or x is equal to $60. Now, to solve for the price of one box of markers, <clears throat> we know that we paid $60 for 10 boxes. So, it would be $6 for one box. So they paid $6 per box of markers. Alright, that is our application problems for today.